Norwich will be get relegated 100%, book it, uh, uh, sink it, let it, whatever. The, the, the Norwich will be relegated without a shadow of a doubt. No doubt in my mind. 20th place will be Norwich. 19th. Watford. I think they go straight back down. I don't know if enough, enough about them. I think it, nice spelling. Yeah, man. I don't know about them. I think they're, they're a solid defensive team. They usually find a way to hang in there. They bought a decent player the other day from uh, Palmer, their captain. Kuka. I think Watford will be going down. Uh, Ishmael Sar, but they've been down with him again. Uh, Watford, Norwich. And the last team. This might shock a few people. Crystal Palace. I think their manager is a fraud. I think Vieira, obviously a fantastic player, fraud of a manager. Burnley will once again survive. Don't you dare disrespect Sean Dyche. Brentford will just about survive. Just about. Just about. Uh, be a close battle. Um... The thing with Brighton is, right, obviously we know how good they are, paper, but I, I, I don't think that, again, it's going to translate well for them. I think Burnley will somehow find a way to finish ahead of Brighton. I really do. I really, really do. Uh, so that's 17, 16, uh, 15, now 14, 13, Southampton, they're not looking good. As a matter of fact, I could even do this. Southampton are in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. My former club, of course, that I managed. There are shells uh, of what I manage now. I'll tell you that much. Um, so the, 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 I think these are the weakest teams on paper. Should be anyways. Newcastle haven't bought a single fucking player. Right? But I expect someone like Callum Wilson, for example, who to have an even more of an impact than he had last year. He should be able to settle into the squad more now. Um, if they get Joe Willock, which is rumoured, Newcastle did look good at the end, eh? They did look good. Steve Bruce is a shit manager, but, uh, like, the, he has got players in there. Like, they're not particularly awful. And if they can keep St. Maximin, then I think they'll do enough to, to, to still uh, maintain in this bracket. These ones can switch easy, to be fair. It could be like this, uh, could be this, it could be, it could, it could be, they could switch easy. Uh, but we'll, we'll go with something like this, right? So that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we've got that tier list sorted. Now, a team who is not going to do as well as they done last year. I don't know where they finished. Leeds will finish 12th this season. At least United will finish 12th. They're going to have a much worse season on paper than they have had uh, last season. Maybe some of their fans expect them to finish in the top 10 again. Maybe even in the top 8. They won't. Leeds will finish 12th. They're going to struggle way more than they did last season. Mark my, my words on that one. Leeds, 12th. 11th. I don't see Everton improving too much. Again, a lot of rumours. Benitez, solid defensive manager. Always end up underachieving. They'll have good periods. Um, if they can pull off a few signings, I've seen them linked with, uh, with Dumfries, but I think we're going to hopefully get him. There was another player they were linked with, chat. Who was it? Now, Wolves... Wolves, uh, Wolves, Wolves up next. Wolves, Wolves, uh, d -d 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 I'm expecting them to do better than they done uh, last season. Raul Jimenez will be back. Maybe Fabio Silva will explode this year. Who am I kidding? He's a fucking pile of shit. Uh, Wolves have written leads. Now, this is where it gets very interesting, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry, man. I... I... <laughs> I can't put you ahead of any of these teams. It's like you have no striker. 
You have no wingers. Can Pepe replicate the form he hit at the end of the season? Can he maintain it? Abomyang's washed. And Katya shit. Lacazette is garbage. Can you get Odegaard? Can you get Madison? Maybe if you do, I'll put you one further step ahead. I don't know. We'll see. Another team who won't do as well as they done last year. Pots and Duck as a football manager player. Um, uh, I'm expecting them to do worse. Butlers. Uh, losers in their DNA, apart from that one year. Uh, Brendan Rodgers. How this team has butted twice. I will never, ever uh, understand. Losers. They should have had Champions League two years in a row. And they found a way to bottle it. It's in their DNA. This time they won't be so lucky. This time there will be an 8, 12, no, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 position. Mark my words on that. 7 to 5th. It's a close call between these, these two. I think Villa will just about nick ahead of West Ham. They'll just about nick it. If Danny Ings stays fit and can somehow, somehow find a way to replicate the form, I'm expecting Villa to do very, very well in the top six. Aston Villa sixth, West Ham seventh, Leicester eighth, Arsenal ninth. Which leaves us with one, two, three, four, five clubs. Mm. Who's just going to miss out on the top four? There's going to be surprises. <clears throat> if Mark my words. If Lukaku does not, does not join Chelsea. If Lukaku joins Chelsea. Allow me to explain, I've explained that a little bit before. Chelsea have not got a team attributed to play in a league. By that I mean win a league, as it stands. And in a league that, like the Premier League, not even enough to get top four if they stay as they are. They have issues. They're going to struggle big time against the lower end teams. Listen, Tuchel, don't this whole like, uh, you know, we shut up shop at the back three, at the back uh, stuff. It works in cup competitions, but it's not going to do well in a league. If they don't get Lukaku, they'll be fifth, right? Spurs will be fourth. Spurs are going to surprise a lot of people this season. There's the Harry Kane question mark, right? If he joins City... Oh, there's another, there's another problem. If he joins City, if Harry Kane joins City, they'll win the league by uh, 15, 15, 10 points, 10, 15 points easy. So there's still a lot of ifs, which, which is annoying for me. If Kane stays at Spurs, it'll look like this. Now, if Lukaku joins... And Kane stays at Spurs. City will drop from first to second. Spurs will get fourth. Now, who goes third? Who goes fifth? If you had a better manager. You'll be here or here. Easy. Easy. Maybe even ahead of City. But the problem is, you have Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You have 36-year-old Cavani leading the line. 
and 19-year-old Mason Greenwood leading the line. Sancho will do well as his first season. He'll do okay. He's not going to score you a crazy amount of goals. Where are the goals from Manchester United going to come from? Bruno will take the penalty, so you're going to get that. Apart from that, where? Washford will get a few goals here and there. He's going to start the season uh, having a surgery. He'll get a few goals here and there. Sancho will get a few here and there. Cavani will get a few here and there. But if they get Lukaku, they'll have someone like Kane. And they have Salah. Spurs? I went done yet. This is, this is if Harry Kane stays at Spurs. Which I have a feeling he will. I have a feeling he will remain at, at Spurs. This is the one I have a problem with. Because this can happen. But I'm going to trust the fact that Liverpool have a better manager. Than Manchester United. It'll be close. It'll be very close. This. As it stands. As it stands. If Chelsea get Lukaku. On his own. Lukaku will get Chelsea from here. To here. So. Let's recap. If Chelsea don't get Lukaku. Chelsea fifth. Right. City win. United here. If City get Kane. City win. Convincingly. By 20. 15. 20 points. If Chelsea get Lukaku. Ding, ding, probably ding if Kane doesn't get it. It depends on who they replace him with. If they get Vlachovic, they'll do well. I don't think they're going to be able to. But we need to see. There's a question mark on who Spurs can replace him with. But Spurs, with Romero at the back now, very much improved. Kept Reguil on. Um, and no, no, Spirito Santo. While he's no Jose Mourinho. Uh, he, he might have a better team than Mourinho did, that's for damn sure. Especially if they keep Kane. So I'll expect that. So in a way, I've kind of gone all the way. Tottenham 9th, ASSNA 10th. No chance, no chance. You guys are sleeping on Spurs big time. This motherfucker has not have a space in between his name. Why? Why do this? I've already, we've already seen this shit. Come on, man. Shame. So, this is why I don't like making predictions. At least give me another week so I can completely send it. But those are the different combinations I'm going to go with. My apologies! Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, sir! Sorry! My apologies! We just punched the guy in the wrong face!